Hey, what's up guys? It's uh, Knights Templar back here. Welcome to Operation Goodwood, another 36 uh, YouTube war. Um, this is uh, 1.2, 1.3, uh, the CCP and the Soviets. Um, but yeah, good job, Robert, on your first turn with the Germans uh, and the Spanish. So um, nice to get a recruitment role for sure. Uh, but anyway, uh, let's uh, let's get into the CCP turn. Um, we have two dollars to spend. Uh, we're just going to try to use that for for influence, um, whether we use one or both, depending on the battle here in Szechuan that we're going to do. So um, anyway, let's uh, let's go to that. So uh, we're going to tag Szechuan with a cavalry and two mountain, and I do realize it is six pips to six pips, but. You know, as the CCP, I mean, you got to take that risk, and Szechuan is the best place to to try to do that, to try to expand, to try to up your uh, uh, influence roll. So, otherwise, yeah, let's go ahead and roll. We got three at two, two cavalry or two mountain and a cavalry. So here we go. Uh, that's a miss. We're all three. Um, I have a militia at a two. That's a miss with a five. Infantry at a four. That's a miss with an eight. Let's go ahead and uh, roll for round two. All right, so I got one hit there, and then we'll roll for the excuse me. We'll roll for the militia. That's a miss, and then a infantry. That's a miss. Okay, so Mark, I'm assuming you'll take the militia. So let's go ahead and uh, roll for round three. And I'm just going to roll the infantry at once here with the rest of the dice here. And then there's our last hit uh, with the two. So uh, we don't take casualties taking Szechuan, so that's nice. Okay. Let me grab a round roll. I'm on my lunch break, so... Oh, I put it on the wrong land zone. <laughs> I'm a little rusty, guys. Bear with me for YouTube Wars. It's been a while. So, okay, so we take Szechuan with two mountain and a cavalry. And then we just got two uh, militia here in San Chi. Uh, let's go ahead and try to do our influence and then we'll do our recruitment. So, we're going to try for um, the warlord with Ho Pei and, uh, and Bei Ping. So, um, we're going to spend the two IPP and we need a four or less to influence them. Um, yeah, we gotta get a four or less, so um, two land zones adjacent plus the two IPP. Yep, so four or less. That is an eight, so that missed. Okay, let's do a recruitment at a two or less. And that is a one, so we get the recruitment roll. So I will... Let's put an infantry there and send she. So there we go. I'll take it. <clears throat> okay, and then we'll collect $2 for the following turn. All right, let's go to the Russians, uh, the Soviets. Uh, let's do our, uh, we do have one tech roll be, uh, because of our special ability, Soviet um, is it supremacy or technology, I don't know. Uh, anyway, we get one tech roll because we can't roll our other tech until we get to 15 IPP. Uh, or based off our uh, major factories. So um, let's go ahead and roll for um, improved factories. And we need a seven or higher. And that is a seven. So we go to stage one for improved factories for the Soviets. So off to a good start. And let's go to our buys. So we're going to send Abyssinia a militia for two. And Spain a militia for two. And then we've got our... Place of place units are the destroyer and a sub. So, okay. Other than that, um, we do have one combat move in Spain. Um, nothing too drastic. Um, we are going to attack uh, Basque Country with uh, three infantry, two from Madrid, one from Catalonia, a fighter from Madrid, a medium bomber from Madrid. And then a cavalry one two from Eastern Andalusia, so that's our combat. And uh, Robert elected not to scramble that fighter. So okay, uh, we got to roll first strike. 
uh, for the uh, nationalists at a three or less. <laughs> That's a one, of course it is. Um, I'll take the cavalry out. That's fine. And then let's roll our three infantry. Fighter. And then medium bomber. We need two hits. And we got two hits. So one with the infantry and one with the fighter. Okay. All right, let's roll um, the infantry for the nationalist. And that's an 11, so that missed. So we only took one casualty. Hey, you know what? I'll, I'll take those. It, it's, it's fine. Uh, we'll take those. All right, so we take that with three infantry. Okay. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's good. Um, I think we're gonna send this back to Madrid, send this to Catalonia. We're gonna send this infantry to Madrid. Yeah, I think that's the play. Okay. Then we're gonna move our, our uh, coastal sub and our destroyer one C zone to M2. We're gonna put in port this, um, this heavy cruiser to act as a militia. And uh, while we're here, let's just do our recruitment roll. So we need a seven or less. So, yeah, let's do the seven or less here. That's a one, so we get that, okay. All right, so let me get some militia here real quick. I'll just use some yellow chips for now. I'm gonna put them in Madrid. I think. That is better to do it that way. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry guys. There we go. Put the two militia there, have this in Catalonia. Okay. Um, yeah, and then let's do non-combat for the Russians. I just wanted to get this done before I send my uh, Lend lease over there. Like I said, I will move the Russian units uh, here now. So, okay. Let's take a infantry from Pomorsky Cry here to Amor. Let's take a, uh, let's leave the infantry in Amor here. Let's move the infantry from Yakutsk here to uh, Amor. Let's move the militia to Amor. So we got three infantry and a militia there in Amor. And then we're going to take. Uh, the torpedo boat destroyer and the submarine, and we're gonna go one, two, three, up to P one. Okay, and then. This infantry to move it to Angara. This cavalry is going to go one, two here to Orenburg. And then um, we'll move this motorized from Stalingrad. We'll go one, two here to Orokursk. We'll take the motorized from eastern Ukraine, go to Orokursk. Uh, we'll take the light armor from Kiev and go 1-2 to Orokursk. Uh, the seaplane will move to Leningrad. Um, this motorized back here is going to move to... Let's go 1-2 here to Stalingrad. We're going to rail this motorized 
to Oral Kursk. We're going to move this infantry and the cavalry from northern Caucasia to uh, southern or Transcaucasia. Excuse me, had a brain fart there. Uh, we'll take the infantry from yeah, from Stalingrad, move it to Kolmatskaya. We'll take the infantry from Western Ukraine, move it to Kiev, infantry from Southern Ukraine here to Kiev, and the infantry from Eastern Ukraine here into Kiev. We'll move the fighter from Orokurs to Moscow. We'll rail the cavalry from Western Russia all the way down here to Transcaucasia. Um, We'll take the infantry from northern Russia, move it here to western Russia. The infantry from Smolensk, move it here to western Russia. The light armor from Smolensk, move it here to uh, western Russia. We'll take the infantry from southern Belarusia and put it in Smolensk. And then the infantry from Moscow, we're going to move here to western Russia. And then these two infantry from Gorky and Saratov are going to move here to Moscow. So hopefully we was able to follow that mess. It's a lot of movement uh, for sure. Um, and then uh, we'll take the destroyer and the uh, heavy cruiser. We're at a major shipyard. We're going to go one, two, three, four here to M2. We'll take the coastal sub and just move it one here. Here to uh, M10. And that's it. I don't think there's anything else that I can move, so, um, or that I want to move. I think that pretty much does it. So, let's, actually we're gonna move this infantry from uh, Oral Kursk here to um, Smolensk, so there we go. <clears throat> All right, let's, uh, let's place our units. We're gonna place the destroyer and the sub here in A14 with our Nice Soviet fleet, and um, I will put these in port here in Leningrad. Um, so I'll put those in port, uh, which I'll do that off camera, and then um, we'll deliver our Lin lease. So start here from Oral Kursk, move our way down to the Turkish Straits, to the Suez, here to Abyssinia. There you go, Tim. And then same thing. We're going to follow the same direction to the Turkish Straits or the Med. And we're going to put that bad boy here in Catalonia. So there we go. Okay. I like it. <laughs> and then we'll collect $4. So I'll just leave that there. Get an income increase next turn, which is which is pretty nice. Okay, let's do a disposition of forces. Okay, the changes for the CCP. We've got two mountain and a cavalry there in Sichuan. In Senshi, we've got a infantry and two militia. Over here, um, in Amor, I've got three infantry and a militia. Here in Angara, I have an infantry. Orenburg, I have a cavalry. Um, Stalingrad, I've got a motorized. Kolmatskaya, I have an infantry. Transcaucasia, I've got two infantry, two cavalry. Here in Kiev, I've got four infantry. Here in Oral Kursk, I've got four motorized in a um, light armor. Here in Moscow, I've got two fighters, a tactical bomber, an air transport, and two infantry. Here in Smolensk, I've got... Um, Two infantry. Here in Karelia, I have an infantry. Here in Western Russia, I've got four infantry and a light armor. Here in C-Zone M10, I have a uh, a coastal sub. Here in M2, I've got a heavy cruiser and a destroyer. Um, here with the fleet here that's going to be in port, I've got three subs. I've got two destroyers and a light cruiser. And 
Over here in Spain, I've got a militia here in Catalonia. I've got two militia and infantry and a medium bomber here in Madrid. In Basque Country, I've got three infantry here in M2 as well for the Spanish Republicans. I've got a coastal sub and a destroyer. You can see right there. And then, yeah, that's it. And then obviously uh, for Abyssinia, Tim, you've got an extra militia there. And then other than that, yeah, that's it, guys. So, uh, and then we hit stage one for um, improved factories. But other than that, yeah, let me know if I did anything incorrectly. But uh, um, I think um, I think that's pretty much it. So we'll see you guys for uh, turn two, and we'll kick it off to uh, um, Canuck Aviation for Japan's turn. Thanks.